So the biggest miscalculation I made during the pandemic when I chose not only to become an entrepreneur, but to also become a homeschool parent of a fussy eating third grader was that I would also be the cafeteria lady. And it led to a lot of frustration. I arranged to meet uh, with my husband to renegotiate our deal, how we were going to manage grocery shopping and preparing meals for our family. And, you know, my husband's response to my frustration was, hey, you know, I'll take on these days and I'll do this kind of grocery shopping. Now, ladies, sometimes we have a problem with the way the men shop. <laughs> sometimes we have a problem with them, the way that they cook. And, you know, I had to let go of a lot of that. But one of the best agreements that came out of that moment of, of my just saying, hey, I need help was that my husband and I also agreed that I would begin to teach our son to how to manage his way around the kitchen. And his first cooking place would be a George Foreman grill. We taught him how to do some simple sandwiches and things that he liked for his fussy little appetite. And so one of the last things that my husband and I could anticipate was that out of that agreement would sprout so much potential in our son which has led to this amazing little business that he has been developing. He's building his website. Uh, and here, here's his logo. He, here's his mango habanero wings. Here are his hand cut fries. The kid can cook. And what needed to happen was mom needed to get out of the way with her big, strong, capable self doing everything for everyone so that what was inside of him can come out of him and serve him and our family and so ladies we're going to be talking about this unpacking this a little more we won't be talking about j cafe necessarily that's my son's <laughs> my son's business but we will be talking about my leadership and how we work together with men how we collaborate how we yield so that the best that's in them can come out. I look forward to talking more about this with you and the family tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern at Law for Love ATL.